We're joined now by Professor Thomas Campbell at the Farrell School of Law here at Chapman. BP Professor Campbell is not only a distinguished professor of jurisprudence at Fowler, but he served in the Congress from 1989 to 1993, representing Northern California. As a congressman, he voted on the impeachment of President Bill Clinton. Welcome, Professor. It is so Thank great you. to have you. Happy to be with you and here at Chapman. So, Professor Campbell, uh, what does this impeachment vote mean? It's not like the president has been convicted of anything just yet. It's, it's correct. It's just the beginning of the process. And the fact that it was a partisan vote is also not surprising. Uh, the process will probably continue in the House and probably lead to a vote to impeach and then a trial in the Senate. Okay, awesome. Thank you. So the White House has resisted turning over witnesses and documents, but now that this is a legal impeachment inquiry, do you think the White House will be more let's say, cooperative? I doubt it. Uh, President Clinton in the similar situation was actually w alleged not to be so cooperative that it led to one of the four articles of impeachment against him that he obstructed justice by not answering subpoenas. I suspect the same will happen here. The difference will be that once a, uh, an official inquiry has begun, then the courts will allow access to grand jury material to a committee of Congress. Prior to the official beginning of an impeachment inquiry, uh, grand jury material would stay confidential. So would you say that this is a win for Republicans, this whole process? No, I would not. I would say that uh, the Republicans held together, uh, but they will not stop the likely vote to bring the matter over to a trial. Furthermore, the in, in, in most important uh, issue is what information was received in the Intelligence Committee that will now be made public. And that uh, very much needs to be known before one can describe it as a win or a loss for one party or the other. So you would uh, say the same for like the Democratic side? That's not a win, not a loss? I, I think that's right. I think the outcome in the House yesterday was very much expected. Speaker Pelosi would not have brought the vote forward unless she had the vote, so no one was surprised. The most important question is, did President Trump extract a service for a political purpose and did he use the United States foreign policy as the uh, return, as the, as the bargaining chip? Uh, and that issue has been put forward as a question. We now need to see what the evidence is. And probably on that, we'll, we'll determine whether any of the 20 Republican senators needed to convict will uh, break partisan ranks. Uh, right now, I would not say that there's very many, if any, of them. Understood. So we understand that you were actually a congressman once, and you actually voted on the impeachment inquiry of Bill Clinton. Yes, I did. Yeah, could you tell us a little bit of what you remember of that experience? Yes, it was very uh, difficult, obviously. You take the matter extremely seriously. Uh, President Clinton had, by his own admission, at the time when the vote came, he had already admitted that he had himself failed to tell the truth under oath in a federal criminal grand jury investigation and that he had induced others to do so. And that showed to me a pattern of disrespect for the law, the rule of law. Uh, the other two, and, and I voted to impeach him on those counts. The other counts were whether in a civil matter, uh, the Paula Jones case, if you remember, he had also testified falsely under oath, and also whether his failure to produce documents that the House Judiciary Committee had requested uh, was uh, an, impeding, an impediment to their functioning. And I voted no on those. Those two went over to the House, uh, from the House to the Senate, and then the, uh, the Senate vote uh, happened. It was taken very seriously. One thing on a positive side, I will say, is that after that vote, the House, the Senate, and the President, though they had all gone through this, were able to work together. And a lot of progress actually resulted in the last year and a half of President Clinton's administration, including the last time the federal budget was actually balanced under a Democratic president and a Republican Congress after impeachment. So I'm hopeful that as this matter reaches its conclusion, it will be quick and we will be able to return to the most important aspects of helping our country and helping our world. Thank you so much, Professor. I speak on the behalf of both of us. Thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. Thanks for asking me. Thank you. Glad to be at Chapman.